Hey guys, it's Pastor Mark here. Uh, it's Wednesday afternoon. Uh, this is uh, just a real brief uh, um, coming to you from the pastor's desk. Um, I'm just on the verge of uh, heading into the sanctuary and putting the final touches on our, our prayer gathering tonight that starts at 7 o'clock. And I uh, just wanted to invite you um, to come and for a time of refreshing, a time of prayer, a time of worship, a time of the Word. Um, it's about 45 minutes um, through, through the middle of the week. Sometimes you know, we, we get into our week and it, it just seems like Wednesday is, is one of the toughest days of the week. And uh, I'm convinced that our, our prayer gathering that is scheduled for every Wednesday night is, um, is a great opportunity for all of us to come together, myself included, and to just push back um, from all that's been going on during the week and kind of just fill up spiritually once again. Uh, this past week, I just want to pass this on to you. I've been uh, spending a lot of time studying uh, through the book of Proverbs uh, this past month, and um, the point where uh, I'm only uh, eight chapters in, and you know, it, it, I'm not even doing one a day. I'm just really diving into the meat and potatoes of it, and it is amazing uh, how many times uh, the in the book of Proverbs it says, um, "Listen to these words, my son." Now, I know if you were growing up and you were a boy, um, maybe you heard those, you, you heard those, listen, son, uh, maybe those, 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 those words from your father or, or your mother, um, or if you're, if you're a daughter, you heard, hey, daughter, and, and they weren't, um, they weren't said in, said in the most gentlest of ways, it was more of a chastisement or a, correct, a correction, but as I look at this book of Proverbs, that phrase, my son, is an endearing comment. It's, um, it's, a, it's a heavenly father that's laying claim to one of his children um, that de desperately and dearly loves them, uh, has wisdom and truth for their lives to help them navigate the challenges of this world. And over and over again, there's this phrase, my son, my dear son, listen to these words, um, store them up in your heart, write them, write them on your heart. Um, you know, uh, it, it is absolutely amazing, um, this this constant, if you would, barrage in a good way, this constant reminder, wave after wave after wave of God claiming me, claiming you to be his son or daughter. And in that, he, there's a constant reminder, a constant barrage, if you would, again, of um, there are some things that, the, that, that our Heavenly Father... Um, wants to pass on to us that so that our lives would go uh, really, really well. And a lot of it has to do with his his godly wisdom, uh, with with godly wisdom, uh, his wisdom being passed on to us, not only through the word, but also through just spending time with him uh, in prayer. And um, and I was just captivated by that that truth of over and over again. Um, Solomon was. Uh, or Samuel was was or Solomon, sorry, Solomon was given these um, this this my son, my son, my son, um, and I'm just totally blessed by that um, today as uh, and from for the most part of August as I've been reading through these and really studying them uh, and just the encouragement. So I just want to uh, pass that on to you as a as a point of uh, one, uh, of a pastor or a brother or a sister in Christ going. You know, God's word still impacts me deeply and changes me and kind of um, stops me in my tracks uh, a lot of times throughout the week of, uh, of just seeing the intimate relationship. God, the creator of the heaven and the universe, uh, so many times we, we can think of God being way out there, but when he says those words, my son, my daughter, uh, my child, um, take heed to these words, listen to these words, store up these words. There's this intimate relationship that you can see that whether I want it all the time or not, um, our Heavenly Father wants it all of the time because He desperately loves us uh, and cares for us and desires the absolute best for us. So I just pass those on to you. Just encourage you. Um, make time on Wednesday nights. It is It has been well worth it. Um, I feel out of sorts when I miss it. Um, but, um, just come prayer gatherings, uh, Wednesday nights, uh, 7 PM, uh, until about 7:45, And then usually we're done about that point in time. Um, uh, but it's a great chance for us to come and exalt the Lord in the word and prayer and in song and lay our petitions before him and then ask him to go to battle for those things that we have, 
um, that are coming up our next day or next days, uh, a certain situation that's happening in our, our church family, our biological family, our, our, our community and our world, you know, we get to ask God to go, go to battle for us. And, uh, I don't know about you, but he's never lost a fight yet. And so I'm willing to continue to lean on his side, um, knowing that uh, even at the end, at the end of this book, um, as you as you read uh, the book of Revelation, you find out that he doesn't win the final batter, battle either. And so uh, just want to pass that on to you. Um, I love you so much, and I'm super excited about tonight's uh, um, prayer gathering, Fresh Encounter. And uh, I just like I said, I just want to invite you at 6 p.m. tonight. Until then, um, I, I pray the Lord blesses you and keeps you, and may you find his peace. Shalom.